After the rendering, you will have all of these pictures and you might ask, what should I do with them? And in this lesson, we will learn how to turn these images into a video and combine it with the footage. And also we'll learn color correction and a little bit of masking. So let's not waste a minute and let's start it. First of all, we need a video editing software. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Premiere Pro for post-processing. So open it and then create a new project. And now we need to find the footage, grab it and move it here. And then grab it again and move it to the timeline. All right, let's now import our animation that we render it. So click on file, import, and then find our PNG sequence, select the first image, and make sure that image sequence is checked and after that click open and again grab it to the timeline above our footage and usually it's supposed to be transparent and as we can see it is not but don't worry it's not very hard to fix just click on effects here and on the search bar type luma key and then grab it and move to the animation. And here in effect controls, uh, decrease threshold to eight or nine. And here how it looks like. Now let's do color correction. For that, we need to click on color here and let's increase the contrast. Also increase the highlights a little. And decrease the shadows. Overall, you don't have uh, rules here because your animation and lighting might be different. So play around with these parameters to see what suits you best. These parameters I have in the end. You can stop and repeat after me if you want. And if we click on the creative here, we can choose the filters. I personally like this one but you can pick whatever you like. All right, now when we made the color grading, let's do masking to add realism to this footage. So click on our footage and with Alt, grab it and move up. And here we can zoom in for more convenience. And let's create a mask by clicking on this pen in opacity. What we need to do next is to draw the mask around this projector. Let's zoom in even more. And just click here and here. And by doing that, we can create a mask. And when you close it, we can decrease the mask feather here in the settings. And uh, basically the mask for this projector is created. If we zoom out and play the video, we can see that uh, this part of the lamp is no longer disappearing. 
However, if we play Forza, we can see that problem with Strawberry. And the easiest way to fix that will be going to the frame before. The Strawberry will interact with Lamp. Select the Razor tool here. And cut this footage on half. Then let's go to the frame when Strawberry is no longer interacts with the Lamp. And cut it again. And now we can just delete this part. And let's see what do we got. Alright, looks fine, but here we also need to fix the strawberry issue. And now we need to do the same thing here. Now let's create the last mask. So again, duplicate the footage, holding Alt. And now we need to draw the mask around these lamps. And again, click on the pen icon in opacity. And when we are finished with creating this mask, let's also decrease mask feather. And here how it looks like in the end. Additionally, we can improve this mask here. It won't be very noticeable on the footage, but if you care about details, we can extend the scattered piece and animate the mask. Zoom in. And here we will click on this timer next to mask path we will create a keyframe. So select the mask and now when we will move the point, will be created keyframe. So move the point trying to repeat the shape of the strawberry. And when you're done, just go to the next frame and change the mask again. And do that until strawberry will pass through this lamp. And now let's see what results did we achieve by doing this. Looks great. And now let's export our file. First, we need to show where will be the end of this video by clicking here and grabbing this uh, thing to the place where we want our video to end. Then click File, Export, Media, and in the format, make sure you have H264 and for full HD resolution, you can choose the YouTube 180 pixel presets. And here you can choose output and the name of the video.
And all that remains to do is to click on export.